Why does a bowl of oatmeal keep you satisfied for hours, but a white bread roll leaves you hungry again so quickly? And why does eating an orange make you feel fuller than drinking orange juice, even when the sugar is similar? It's not just about calories, it's not about protein or fat either. There is one hidden nutrition that explains both puzzles. It's fiber. And today I will show you how fiber would help you feel full sooner, stay satisfied for longer, steady your energy and protect your health in ways most people don't realize. I am Dr. Almeri, a weight loss surgeon. If you are ready to take control of your hunger, let's dive in. Fiber is only found in plants. You won't get it from meat, fish, dairy, or eggs. It's a kind of carbohydrate, but unlike sugar or starch, your body cannot break it down. Fiber is the natural framework that holds the plant together, like their built-in skeleton. It is the crunch of an apple, the, the, the skin of a bean and the husk of a grain. And here is the clever part. Inside that framework, there are the natural sugars and other nutritions that the food contain. When you eat the whole plant, say for instance, like you had an apple, your body has to slowly break down that framework to be able to extract the nutritions from it bit by bit. And the fiber itself, it travels further down undigested, feeding your good bacteria, adding bulk, and eventually leaving your body in your stools. You have probably seen fiber sold as capsules or powders for weight loss, and yes, they can help a little bit, but the truth is you do not need pills because fiber is already built into real food. Vegetables, beans, lentils, oats, and fruits. Here is why that matters for weight loss. When you eat fiber-rich foods, uh, they take up more space in your stomach and even some types of uh, fibers, they swell up as they soak water in. That is why it's important to drink more water when you increase your fiber intake. That extra volume makes your stomach stretch sooner and your brain gets the message from the stomach. The stomach says, I am full so I don't need to eat anymore. But fiber does not stop here. It also slows down how quickly the food leaves your stomach, so that will mean that you will feel fuller for a longer period of time. And here is the real win. Most high fiber foods are naturally lower in calories. That means you can enjoy a satisfying plate of food, feel comfortably full, and still take in lower calories. It is how you eat less without feeling deprived. No calorie counting, no food scales, just fiber doing its job. Fiber does not just help you feel full, it also keeps your blood sugar steady. Here is why that matters. When you eat, your body breaks down food into its smallest components. That's sugar, protein, and fat. Then the body absorbs these nutritions into the bloodstream. But if the sugar is locked inside a fiber-rich structure, something like a whole orange, for instance, your body has to work. You chew, you digest, you slowly break through the plant cell walls. Meanwhile, soluble fibers, they form a gentle gel which thickens what's in your stomach and that will slow down the food exit from the stomach. So the sugar will drip out bit by bit. Your blood sugar rises very gradually and the insulin, which is the hormone that clears the sugar, rises gradually as well. The results? Steady energy, no crash. Now picture orange juice, almost no fiber. The sugar in it is already broken free from that structure and the liquid will leave the stomach so quickly. So sugar floods in, your body releases more insulin to handle it. That insulin will drop your sugar level quickly and your brain feels that fast drop in your sugar level. Like, see, like oh, I feel so tired, craving, hungry again. And that is because of the drop in the sugar caused by the insulin. So here is the simple rule. When sugar comes wrapped in fiber, like in whole fruit, in oat, in beans, uh, whole grain bread, it enters the bloodstream slowly and your energy feels stable. But when sugar comes without fiber in juice, sweets, or refined bread, it rushes in all at once. That kind of sharp rise is followed by a rise in the insulin and that quick drop in your blood sugar level is sensed by the brain as feeling tired and hungry and craving again. Before we wrap up, let me share the real bonus of fibers. Fiber is not just about weight loss. 
it's about your whole health. When you eat fiber, you are not only feeding yourself, you are feeding trillions of good bacteria living in your gut. And when they are happy, they produce little power molecules that strengthen your gut, calm your immune system, and may even help steady your mood. Fiber also looks after your heart. It helps lowering your bad cholesterol, which means healthier arteries and a stronger future you. And here is the big one. People who eat more fiber, they live healthier, longer lives with a lower risk of diabetes and bowel cancer. So think about it. That bowl of creamy oats at breakfast, a hearty lentil soup at lunch, a crispy apple in the afternoon, a slice of a whole grain bread at dinner, and yes, that extra handful and colorful veggies on your plate, even the small handful of nuts to finish the day. Every one of those foods is not just filling your stomach, they are fueling your good gut bacteria. They are protecting your heart and stacking the odds in favor of your long-term health. That is the power of fiber. Simple foods you can eat every day, but they are doing extraordinary things inside you. So here is my challenge for this week. Try to make one simple swap each day. Choose whole green bread instead of white. Pick a whole orange instead of juice or swap a refined cereal for oats. Small changes repeated often can transform your hunger and your health. In the next video, we will go deeper. How much fiber do you really need? Which foods pack fiber the most? And practical tips so that you can hit your daily target without overthinking it. I am Dr. Almeri. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.